So it's LaToya with International Wives of African Men and I wanted to do this video to talk more about the dowry versus the bride price. With the two, a lot of us American women are fighting ourselves to say, uh, let's go half. And actually you're doing a disservice to yourself and also that man. He is brought up in a culture where he is the provider. And if he is not, he's considered a boy. For the bride price is exactly as what it sounds like. The bride price is what is paid for the bride. And I think what's happened over time in history is that we've looked at the bride price in a way where families that are less fortunate or poor have used their child or their daughter to get money. So that's the part that I think that all of us are harping on. And we're sitting on that and saying, oh, I'm against it. But there's another side to that, and it's called the dowry. The dowry is where the bride's family is responsible for setting her up in a way with her husband so that when they do get married and they're having these children, that they are comfortable. So, for example, I myself have land. I plan on giving this land to my daughter when she gets married. So that means that that will be a part of her wealth with her future husband. And the same for my son. I just happen to do that. That's how I set it up. But that doesn't mean that you can't set it up in your own way. Now, that doesn't mean that your family is out here giving out land or anything like that. But you must consider these things and weigh them accordingly. The bride price is not only for Africa. Africa does not have a trademark on having a bride price. Bride pricing is done all over the world. America has a history with it also. And with the dowry side, America has a history with it. I remember my grandmother talking about dowries because what would happen is you would get a trunk full of items as the bride. And those items would symbolize your family and your tribe, but they would also be things that you could take with you to your new house and basically make a home. So these are things that you should consider as you're talking to these men online, in person, and getting to know them and their culture. You'll get to know his culture by visiting, and I don't mean for one week. You need to visit him, and it needs to be three weeks, six months, something right. big. Right. <laughs> and um, on your side, it probably needs to be more so from your family. You need more input from your own family. Your family is going to tell you and they're going to say, I'm not comfortable with this, most likely, in a lot of those cases. But you have to talk to them so that you are respected amongst the African side, just like you would be on your side. All right. So if I think of anything else, I'll do another video. All right. Thanks, ladies, for tuning in. Comment and let me know what you think.